davon eins Hesel und Raui das Harvest Movies Director David Lynch is no stranger to controversy. Several years back, you may recall his film Blue Velvet caused a stir of controversy. Well, today, his latest movie, Wild at Heart, is following right in the same tradition. It almost received an X rating. Our man in Hollywood, Jim Brown, has this report this morning. I'd go the far end of the world for you, baby. Oh, you know I would. Rocking good news. <laughs> Director David Lynch's new movie, Wild at Heart, is being launched this week with a marketing campaign that will cost nearly as much as the film itself. Seven to eight million dollars is being spent for the violent and sexually explicit movie that cost only nine million dollars to make. Based on the Barry Gifford novel of the same name, Nicolas Cage and Laura Dern are the stars of what Lynch calls a road movie. One that careens through a maze of twisted and frightening events and twisted and frightening people. David Lynch comes to Wild at Heart with only a handful of feature directing credits, but they are movies that have marked him as one of the most original directors working today. His films include Eraserhead, The Elephant Man, Dune, and Blue Velvet, for which he received an Oscar nomination. Wild at Heart walked away with the top prize at this year's Cannes Film Festival, and Lynch, threatened with an X rating for the movie, avoided it without taking the editing scissors to the finished product. Not one frame of the film was uh, cut out. What they uh, ended up having me do is um, uh, one second of film has a, an overlay of some fire and some smoke. One second, which is uh, 24 frames, two cuts, uh, uh, two shots were overlaid with this to um, semi-conceal uh, something. But David Lynch did make one concession on Wild at Heart that he has never done on a feature before. Normally, I uh, hate test screenings up until um, my experience with Wild at Heart. And they're very frightening things uh, to show a film to uh, people that haven't seen it, and especially for the first couple of times. And especially when you feel there's some things wrong, but um, we all sort of play tricks on ourselves. And um, so we started having some test screenings. And there was one particular scene where um, the first test screening, 80 people at a certain point in the film uh, exited the theater, 80 out of 300. And uh, then the next time we had the screening, I really wanted that scene exactly that way. And I, I thought it was a weird bunch, you know, anyway. And uh, the next time, 100 people went out during that time. And the ones that stayed each time were very, very upset. and. Uh, pretty much against the picture from then on uh, through. So um, I, you know, saw the writing on the wall and I, I you know, I altered that scene. It's, it's pretty true. It's amazing what happens when there's a, a theater full of people. If you've never seen a David Lynch movie, you may know him better as the creator of these images from this year's most talked about television show, Twin Peaks. The program that asks the question, who killed Laura Palmer? And who shot Agent Dale Cooper? The quirky soap opera recently received 14 Emmy nominations, including five for Lynch himself. I asked if given the freedom of eccentricity he can display on the big screen, isn't network television somewhat limiting? There's, um, at least for me, it happens that you have a, almost like a TV hat and a, and a movie hat. And when you put on the TV hat, um, it's just a hair smaller. And uh, it's not uncomfortable, but um, you, you, you know up front that you can't do certain things, so you just stop thinking about uh, those, and the boundaries just come in a bit. And um, it's not, uh, uh, like I say, unpleasant. It's just, uh, this is the arena and you work within it. And you're now in summer reruns too, to find that audience that maybe wasn't there on the first run. That's right, now this just started uh, recently, yeah. And then that leads into the upcoming season and the long-awaited question, 
who killed Laura will be answered. Well, it'll be answered sometime within the next season, probably. But not on the first show. I, I don't think so. In the meantime, David Lynch fans waiting for the new Twin Peaks may see his new feature film, Wild at Heart, which opens this week. For today, Jim Brown, NBC News, Hollywood. And tomorrow we'll talk with the dapper dresser in Wild at Heart, the man who plays the boyfriend, Nicolas Cage. Now here's Joe Witte. Thanks for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. There's Patreon and GoFundMe information as well.